welcome. So I'm looking at yesterday's Warhammer Fest Day 2, which is basically against one forty k I'll be looking at the box games as well, should they pique interest of me, and one forty k again on Friday, or Saturday, whenever the next one is. Um, because, well, that's what I look like. I like the one forty k And, of course, it was an ease. I wanted to have a good look at it properly and not give you a knee-jerk reaction straight away. Just give you a... a more solidified opinion rather than oh my god it's so cool oh my god i hate it you know the usual stuff that people you see when these come out um so if i can stop clicking right clicking right now stop it uh we have the more than thou our best sanctorum of adeptus soriatus upon her you know here it is the usual stuff the guardian of the faith she's a lady of she's a high lady or high lord of terror um and she's Warsu. I kind of like that it's far more ostentatious than the normal one. And I like that this has a shield on it. And, you know, it looks pretty cool. I think it's pretty nice. And, you know, she was made a High Lord of Terror because of Robert Gulliman. And she also has the Lance of Illumination. A legendary blade that she can sweep clean from the Adeptus Custodes. Uh, Again, it looks like a cool blade. Um, there's not much complaints about this. Oh, she comes with a helmet, which is pretty cool. I just always put helmets on most of my units as much as I can. I mean, it, I don't like painting heads at the best of times. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I must admit, it looks pretty cool. Um, I want to see what they do with the lore. I also like the idea that it seems that she can actually run with any Ordos order from the Sisters of Battle. You know, Martyred Lady... Ebon Chalice, or even, so you're not going to get a order keyword, so you're going to have to, so you don't, so you can use any order with her, which is like, really cool, I think that's a great idea, and they need to do more of that as well, in general, Abaddon needs to lose his Black Legion keyword. And next, we've had, already had her, you know, the one, I, one I've been showing people as Linus, because I think it's funny, and her Al Angela Lansbury, I don't know, this just reminds me of Angela Lansbury, with so this could be just heresy she wrote um nice models there's not much more i can say about that it's going to come as a two-pack uh, what can i say it looks good i that's it there you go nice i like the banner i like the idea that this is how the emperor actually looks with the em emperor's sword and if you know or if you don't know this is the uh Chalice of Tears, where the Emperor cries a single tear for every loyal Imperial soldier lost in battle. And at the moment is overflowing, as you can see on the banner, and a person who writes down all her deeds. That's about it. There's one I absolutely abhor. I do not like the pose. I don't, I mean, even that if she comes with a helmet, that's fine. I just don't like the pose. This is a model I think is, just feels lazy to me. I don't like it at all. Okay, the Dogmata does... No, I don't like it. it. Oh, no, I don't like it. Of course, we've seen the Paladin, because it's Pain and Piety. Uh, we got this, what are they called? Sacrosanct. Celestian, uh, Celestian Sacrosancts. I don't like this shield. See, I know this looks pretty cool, but this shield, I do not like. See, if it's meant to be a shield, but why is the gun there? That means if she is to aim and fire a weapon, she's going to leave herself completely exposed. It just seems a bit dopey to me. I don't like the look of it. And a lot of shields, if you look at gun shields, they actually have the bow sticking out here. So you still remain protected by the shield. This, to me, just, just loses the protection of the shield. And it looks a little bit dopey. It's like, how do we put a gun on a shield? Bam, just stick this like that. Looks, I don't like it at all. Other than that, the rest of the model looks really cool. I do like this. I like this on the back on the um, power pack. I like the maze. I like the hoods. Even though I'll be giving them helmets anyway. I like the extra decoration they have. It looks pretty cool. I just don't like this shield. Uh, okay, we've had the Palgan War suits again. I like these and I still do. I think they look cool. I just do. I think <laughs> I just love the look of these. Um, finally, we have the Codex. Oh yeah, we got the, wait a minute, we got this here, we got this Castigator. Again, it's got, it's just a Rhino chassis with a Lehman Rust loadout. 
And I know people say, why don't you use this? Just make it as a predator. No, no. I prefer to use it. I would probably keep Bash of Lehman Russ if this is too expensive, just because save money. And that's it. I mean, it looks good. And I like the fact that you've got better weapons than the Predator. And extra more weapons than the Predator as well. Hopefully you can have a last gun here, last cannon here. That, or, or plasma cannons. Something more different than just a heavy bolter. You'll probably be able to... Hopefully you can put a multi-mount on each of these. So it would be pretty cool. Or heavy flamers. Finally, for the sisters about you have the Codex. Don't like the artwork. It looks really washed out. It's, I'm not a fan of this artwork. It's, it does look washed out. The posing and everything else is pretty cool, but yeah, it, it's just very washed out. It could be better. Um, you got more Crusade rules. As, uh, it has 128 pages. And Sheldon. Don't know what quite to make of this because you got well, basically it's going to have a better core wars on it, as well as the Abyss Sanctorum, more in Vel. So you can have two named characters in this, and. You know, it's going to be about Admech, which makes sense, because the Admech Codex is coming out soon. And that's about it. I mean, and you've got the terrain sets as well. Yeah, these look pretty cool. But I always find terrain sets to be overly priced in the best of times. So, nah, uh, <clears throat> I think terrain sets need to be a little bit more cheaper than what they are. Of course, better call looks dope as hell. Anyway, that's about it. I mean, like, it's pretty, most of it's pretty good. I mean, there's some things I don't like, or, you know, but they're kind of lacking. I mean, like, this artwork is really lacking. I'm not a big fan of this artwork at all. Uh, the Castigator, yeah, it's a Predator with an extra gun. I mean, and better, better armaments in the Predator as well. Most of it looks pretty good, and I like it. There's just some silly design choices, I think, a bit daft, like, you know, in, on the side of the gun, rather than having the bow sticking through the shield. It means that they will have to, they, they do, they, you know, they do actually, that's a power gun more soon. They do, they will have to literally expose themselves. Like here, you can see that for her to even fire her, here's a better one here actually. Here, see, she's actually had to expose herself completely to aim her weapon. And that sort of negates any use of a shield. If we were going to give them shields and a gun, I either, either have it pointing through the bow, through the shield. Or put them on the mace here, like they did with the Guardian Spears or something like that. This just doesn't look right to me. I don't like it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, for my opinions, and what do you guys think, and uh, all the other stuff. I think most of it looks pretty good, and but there's a bit of a letdown in some places. Anyway, well, good. Like, like comment, subscribe, as always. I hope you all have a great day, and... Yeah, do you know what? Just enjoy the hobby. You don't need you don't need anyone else's opinion. That's exactly what it is. It's just an opinion. And just enjoy the hobby. Have a great day. Welcome to Necromunda, Hired Gun. Here on Necromunda, one of the myriad worlds in the Warhammer 40,000 universe, far off into the darkest future imaginable, you make your living as a bounty hunter. Chase targets, collect payment, upgrade your arsenal, and fight to survive. Hired Gun is a fast-paced, action-packed, wall-running, head-popping, throat-cutting, indie single-player first-person shooter. Created by the small, passionate team of Warhammer enthusiasts at Strumon Studios, it will bring you pure, over-the-top action. Swathes of enemies, a high-powered arsenal, and all the tools you need to combine the two into an entertaining ballet of destruction. Across the rotting agri-farms, industrious chem labs, and ancient strongholds that scatter the underhive, you will chase your targets as part of the larger, ever-evolving conflict on Necromunda. You're a bounty hunter, so pick your contracts and decide what's worth the money. Necromunda is a violent, brutal place. Nobody will go more than a few feet from their bunk without an assortment of firearms, blades, and ideally backup. 
you'll be wielding anything and everything from a signature power knife to grenade launchers and gravity weapons. With hordes of men, women, gangs, cultists, and much worse besides arrayed against you, you'll need every shot you can get. When all else fails and the enemy is closing in, you'll find your trusty Cyber Mastiff equipped with his own set of customizable and upgradable augmentics, ready to tear any would-be attackers limb from limb. Plus, he's a very good boy. In your pursuit of bounties, you will find plenty of new weapons, items and armor. Exploration and secret hunting is key to hired gun and will reward you with chests packed with guns, cash, and other oddities. All loot can be sold for credits after a mission, meaning you keep the best and trade what's left for upgrades to yourself, your dog, and your guns. Necromunda Hired Gun is coming to PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series, Xbox One and PC, June 1st.